Justin with RX Gymnastics. I'm here at Woodward CrossFit. Today we're going to go over the kipping pull-up progression number two. Last time we talked about the body positions that you have to have for the kipping pull-up. You have to have a solid arch position, solid hollow position, and you have to be able to transition between them on the bar. We talked about the transition, how we're pushing our chest forward and pushing our chest back while engaging our shoulders. I'm going to give you a recap of that. It should look like this. Engage your shoulders, chest forward and back being able to go through the hollow position and the arch position. Today, we're going to talk about how to actually get our chin up over the bar using the kip. What a kip is, is a violent opening of our hips, which creates a moment of weightlessness, and we're going to capitalize on that moment of weightlessness to pull our chin over the bar. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go through our arch position, and as we're coming back into our hollow position, I'm going to violently open my hips, create a moment of weightlessness, capitalize it, Pull my chin over the bar, should look like this. Engage my shoulders, I'm going arch, hollow, open, and coming back down. We're gonna show you this at a different angle. I'm gonna come right over here. You're gonna see that I'm gonna go to the arch position, and as I come back into the hollow position, I'm going to close my hips, violently open my hips, create that moment of weightlessness, and pull up on the bar. Should look like this. Tight core, arch, hollow, and open. I want you to try this, see how it works for you, and I'll see you next time.